the GL Rollup feature in Sage Backpack ERP was an enhancement introduced in version 5.5. Rollups allow you to consolidate account balances to provide a summary balance. This is similar to the consolidation options provided in the Sage Backpack Financial Reporter. Rollups also work with quantities if applicable. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up account rollups and we'll look at some examples. So let's jump right in and take a look. To set up a rollup account, we'll go into the general ledger and choose accounts. And we'll take a look at the 4000 account and we'll hit the tab key to open the record. Now let's hit the finder so we can look deeper into this account. And you'll notice that 4000 is a sales account. 4000 also has several sub accounts with the first segment representing wholesale versus retail and the second segment representing the region. Let's take a look at how to roll up the sub accounts into the 4000 account. As a result, when we look at the 4000 account with the roll up option selected, it will include the amounts from all of the sub accounts. So let's go ahead and close this screen and set up this roll up. First, we'll check the roll up box and a new roll up tab appears. Let's open the tab, and here is where we'll enter the accounts that will roll up to the 4000 parent account. You can use the finder to select and enter each individual account, or you can quickly enter a range of accounts by clicking the zoom button. And here we'll enter the range starting from 4100 and ending with 4220. And then hit preview and a pop-up appears informing us that six roll-up members will be created. We'll close the message and there are the accounts we were expecting. And now we'll click copy and a confirmation message appears which will close and now let's click save. And now you can see that the roll-up accounts appear in the account tree showing their hierarchy and relationships. Now let's close this screen and to get a good feel for why this is a valuable feature, let's go into the general ledger reports and run a trial balance. In this case, we want the trial balance to include only the 4000 through 5500 accounts, which are the sales and cost of sales accounts in our example. Let's click print and as you can see, we've got a report that includes a lot of detail and numbers. Notice that many of the account numbers here include additional segments, again, with the 100s and 200s representing wholesale versus retail, and the 10s, 20s, and 30s representing locations or regions within this sample company. While this level of detail is useful when you're analyzing costs and revenues by product lines, divisions, locations, etc., there are times where a less detailed, high level presentation better fits your needs. This is where the roll up feature comes into play. To keep this tutorial moving along, I've gone ahead behind the scenes and created roll up relationships for all of the segmented accounts that you see here. So let's close this report and rerun it, but this time we'll select the option to use rolled up amounts. A warning will appear informing you that using rolled up amounts on the trial balance may result in debits and credits being unbalanced. Now in this case, since we're only looking at a gross margin, we certainly should be out of balance, yet it should accurately represent our gross margin. Let's close the warning pop-up and click print. Now you'll see a condensed version of our trial balance without any of the sub-account segment details. Importantly, the net income shown is the same whether we're looking at the detailed report or the roll-up report. This simpler view is more desirable for a high-level review and may also be easier to work with for your CPA. Now let's close this report and look at another example that demonstrates the value of account roll-ups. We'll go to Accounts and open the Accounts History inquiry and look at the 4000 sales account. Notice that our sales in period 1 without any roll up is 1,053,185.31. If we select the roll up option, you can see that this number increases since we're incorporating all of the balances that are rolling into the 4000 account. So, to recap, roll ups allow you to consolidate account balances to provide a summary balance. 
This is similar to the consolidation options provided in the Sage ACPAC Financial Reporter. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage ACPAC system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.